Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on Gospel Chops R&B style guitar solo ideas in the key of C sharp minor or E major. You see, E major is relative to C sharp minor, so we can use the same notes to solo in either key. And if you haven't checked out my most popular video, which has now reached over a million views on YouTube, check out how to play an electric guitar solo without even thinking about scales. There's a link in the description below to get you there. The guitar is tuned standard E, A, D, G, B, E. We'll be learning to solo across a backing track that I've put together with band in a box that consists of the chords C sharp minor 7, G sharp minor 7, A major 9, B7 suspended 4, E major, and D sharp diminished 7. If you'd like to learn those chords with tabs, use the link in the description below this video. Let's start by defining the E major scale. The E major scale consists of the notes E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, and D sharp, and is played this way. We'll be using every note that is in the E major scale in the first position of the guitar, which is open, first fret, second fret, third fret, and fourth fret. Any frets that our fingers can reach near the first fret. For our first solo, we're just going to go up and down the scale, just to show you that the notes will work in the key. Now our backing track is in the key of C sharp minor but every chord in our backing track consists of the notes that are in the E major scale. Here we go. The E major scale using all the notes. As you can see there, all the notes work in the key. So what we can do is we can go to this position, pull out certain sections of notes, and use them in a solo to flavor the solo different ways. Let's go to the low E string and A string, and we'll use frets open, two, four, open, two, four. And that's it. Let's see what that sounds like. That gave us a nice low-pitched flavor, 
So let's move to the middle notes or the middle strings, the D and G string. We'll be playing the first fret, second fret, and the fourth fret on both strings. Here we go. Not bad. Now let's go to the high strings and on the B and high E string we'll be using open, two, four, open, two, four. And here's what that will sound like. As you can see, we can use sections of the scale to create different flavors. Now we'll start with the high note and we'll mix these all together and work our way down to the lower notes. Here we go. see how you can take a common major scale, play it across the right chord progression, and come up with some very cool and different flavors. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.